Hey y'all, this isn't a legitimate mukbang, but I'm at Rue's Barbecue. Having some breakfast tacos. I got potato, egg, brisket, bacon, cheese. And if you've never tried Rudy's salsa, I know it's like out of the can or the jar, but it's kind of legit. So you might want to give it a try. Mm -mm -mm. Put the salsa on there. Sorry, guys. All right, I have a little salsa on my lens. It's not really auto focusing. Might be too close. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna hold it. Turn around. Mm -mm. You want some YouTube? Is your burrito, your taco, or whatever? Mm. So, Rudy's has this Rudy sauce, and it's all right, but I think the salsa actually tastes better. I can't even uh, uh, can't get it to come out. You gotta like legit turn it up and shake it. Oh, I got it. There it goes. Getting it all over my phone. You guys can't see that though. If you get full, you have something to take home if you don't finish it. However, I'm going to finish it. So, what I actually got was one taco in the bowl. Because, you see the size of this bowl and you see the size of this taco. Same price, except this one comes without the tortilla. But they have free bread slices, but I just, I didn't want bread. So I just got one taco, one tortilla is enough for me. Okay, show them 
Okay, hold on. And a lot of potatoes. <clears throat> and then I don't go with the sissy sauce. That salsa is pretty good. He has regular Rudy sauce, but they also have Rudy sissy sauce. To me, there's not that much of a difference between the two though. Well, the difference for me though, is the sissy sauce don't have any kind of bite to it. It has flavor, but no bite. This has flavor. To me, it don't have a bite either. Mm. This is it, it doesn't have any bite. But this sauce has just a little itty bitty bitty bite. And then I like going through and liberating the potatoes from the taco. <clears throat> so that when I roll this into a burrito, it's mostly meat. Or you can just order meat. But I like potatoes. So this, I do have egg on the bottom though. There's some egg down there. Egg, cheese, brisket, bacon is what I ordered. I picked most of the bacon out. So you finally got that burrito rolled back up over there. Yep. Okay. And as you see, it's like a little bitty breakfast burrito. Mm. Mm. So I'm gonna take the rest of my bowl. I've added the salsa. I got a jalapeno. Yeah, I'm wearing my crazy pig lady shirt that I, my Mama G merch. So, I don't know if you can see the back, hold on. So my shirt, says crazy pig lady. Mama G's family farm. Everything good so far? Yeah. Yep. Anywho, yeah, I'm gonna eat my pepper. Y'all that know me know I love spicy. Well, these are got a bite, but they're not like, they're not like a super, super, like where your eyes are watering and your nose is running hot. That's pretty good. The downside of mukbanging out in public, they've got some BS music playing that's not copyrighted, of course. Um, I know it's for atmosphere. But whatever.
kind of out of focus. Hold on. Let me see if the focus will come in. Risk it. I hate that the autofocus on here is slow today. Why is it slow? I don't know. Maybe it's the lighting. Not sure. Mm -mm -mm. So, if you're keto or low carb, you could easily eat at Rudy's because you can get whatever you want in a bowl, not on a bread or tortilla. You don't put it on the sandwich? What's that? You eat the sandwich dry? You don't put sauce on it? I don't know. No, You've had sandwiches it. before. Here? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm talking about like the sandwiches we had the other night. Would that have been good? No, because that was Philly cheese, not barbecue. Delicious ice water with lemon. Okay, so what do you guys think about lemon um, in your ice water? I know a lot of people when they go out, they don't want lemon in their water because they're like, oh, they don't wash the lemons. I mean, technically they're supposed to wash the lemons, so. I think that whole they don't wash the lemons rumor depends on where you where you're eating at. Health department would say wash your dang lemons. Um, but I genuinely like the taste of lemon in my water. So I always get it. And people are like, oh, it has, you know, it's dirty, they don't clean it. But I feel like I'm eating out in the in a restaurant anyways. There's no guarantee on any cutting board back there for me. So, I mean, as far as I know, they could have dropped the whole darn biscuit on the floor and picked it up and shoved it in the oven. I don't know. So, when you eat out in public, you take your risk whether they wash their utensils. You take your risk whether they wash their cutting boards. You take your risk whether they wash their lemons. So, question, do you get lemon in your water when you eat out in public? For me, depends on where I'm eating. Some places I won't even get the ice because I've seen some dirty ice machines and that is disgusting. So it just depends. Comment below, let me know. <clears throat> now that you picked everything out of that little taco. This is the smallest one I got. I know.
All right, pay attention. This is the trick. There's no trick. Either you know how to roll a burrito yeah. or you don't. You fold in. Not necessarily. Then. I never fold in. You fold over. Then you fold over. Then you fold over. And that, my friends, is a proper burrito. That's how you roll a proper burrito, and that's how a proper it's too flimsy. burrito should look. There's nothing in there. You need more stuffing. Right, well, I ha I'm working with what I got. I never fold in because I don't like that extra tortilla on the end of my, like I bite and all I get is tortilla, that first bite. So that's why I don't fold in first. I'll tuck the corner at the last or halfway through, but not at first. Yeah, that burrito pretty thin for taco. Most of my meat's at the other end right here. But like I said, this was the smallest bit of meat I've had on one of their tacos. Yeah. I'm actually disappointed. <clears throat> I should have eaten this one first had I known that they were going to go skimpy on the meat. I think they gave you more one. potatoes. They did. I had quite a bit more potatoes than this one. That's the thing here. Like, they don't actually, like, waste stuff out. They just scooper it. And sometimes those scoops aren't as accurate or as consistent, depending on who's scooping, how fast they're scooping, how full the the bin that they're scooping from is. So I scoops think, are not always accurate or consistent. I think what they measuring. do is they take the meat, weigh that out, and then chop it up. They don't weigh it. If you watch them make their burritos, they don't weigh them. They just scoop, 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 scoop. So, like, if you want eggs, scoop of eggs, scoop of meat, scoop of cheese, scoop of... They don't scoop anything. They throw it all in and fold it. And that's it. But, like I said, the scoopers, like, they have, like, a one-ounce scooper. But sometimes, depending on the meat, the size of the chunks, the fullness of the container, the person that's scooping, you know, you don't always get the same consistent portion. That's all. Hmm. I think next time I will ask for the potato on the side. That way I can still have the crunchy potatoes and get a more full burrito 